Don't you just enjoy when you're on vacation and the wife comes back while you're relaxing and she says, honey, the washing machine is not working. So uh, I guess that's what I'm going to be dealing with today. I have an older Kenmore 70 series model wash machine and there are quite a few videos on um, the internet on this, but I say, hey, if I'm going to have to fix it, I might as well record it. Maybe it'll help somebody out. Uh, but first thing I got to do is figure out uh, what's going on with this thing. I've already drained the water out. It's going to be either the coupler from the motor going to the transmission or the coupler from the transmission going to, uh, not sure what you want to call that, but I'm going to say shaft. Not a mechanic, not a repairman. Just trying to rehab pretty much everything around the house, keep it going. So I'll probably save myself <laughs> what the washer is probably worth, maybe $200 at that. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull this thing out, look up under it, and hopefully it's something as simple as the coupler. And if it's the coupler, I'll probably have to order it, but at least I'll know what it is that I'm dealing with. All right, so we've uh, got the uh, washing machine pulled out. I basically just tilted it back. Had an old piece of wood in the garage, went out there and got it. And this looks to be pretty evident. Didn't even have to look for it. This, I believe, is the one that goes between the transmission and the motor. So we're gonna just push that aside and give a quick look. And there it is right there, where it should attach to these two pieces. That is the coupler between the motor and the transmission. And that is what these, this is. This is the center part that holds that coupler in. So we're gonna um, order this and uh, give it a couple of days and come back to it and see if we can put this thing together. And we are back. Got my part in and I'll leave a description in the link below uh, where you can find this at. Again, this is the uh, Kenmore 70 series and um, I'm sure this works for quite a few other models out there, but you can see this is the whole the coupler assembly. This piece and this piece, one still on the transmission and this other piece is on the motor. So I'm gonna have to remove those and fit the new ones on. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a flathead screwdriver and maybe a, a rubber mallet. Uh, other than that, it uh, should be a pretty simple job, maybe 10 minutes at best. All right, so we're back. Uh, this is definitely not a how-to video. This is a you-can-do-it-to video because I'm not trying to teach anybody anything, but I'm just, again, trying to show that a lot of these little things that you end up paying a repair person around the house to do, uh, you can do yourself. So the first thing I did was just took this uh, clip off the bottom. This here is the water pump. Let's see if I can get the camera to see what I'm doing here. see where it turns that coupler in the back and where they should connect again this is my first time doing this so I'm kind of thumbing through it as I go but again this is not a how-to video it's a you can do it to video and you got another one of those clips right here to hold the motor up and we'll just that's pretty simple and on the one on the top, you know, pretty much do the same thing. Just wedge your screwdriver in it. And it's loose. That's simple. So I'm gonna take this uh, motor down real quick. 
All right, here you can see I got the motor down. And there's that, uh, that broken coupler right there. And you can see where the plastic uh, from this one just being ate up. But um, what holds it on also, you got four little seats that go up into this little area here. You got four of those. So when you get those uh, clamps off, you basically pop it off and then pull it back. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You just go in there, pull it up, comes off. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up in here and I'm gonna pull this uh, partial piece of the coupler off. I'm gonna go in there a little better. I'm gonna clean the motor off and also the uh, debris that's on this, uh, on the transmission. Okay, so we got the motor cleaned off pretty good and the uh, transmission also cleaned off. And what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this coupler on because it doesn't matter which side it goes on. But there's a shaft, see that shaft there, and there's a flat side to it. So I'm gonna do it this way. Might not be the way it's supposed to be done, but I'm gonna do it this way. And I'm gonna work that on there. Try to get it flat as I can. That looks pretty good. So what I did to make the motor install a little easier and to keep that bracket out of place while I mount the motor back into the seats, I just kind of took some tape. It doesn't matter what kind, just any kind of tape and then connected it up to the top piece there so it'll kind of stay out of the way while I mount the motor. All right, you get it all back up. Uh, the most difficult part was that I guess that new coupling was just slightly thicker than the old one. So um, I did have to wrestle with it just a little bit. But I got back up there and I'm going to give it a test run. We already got it on the spin cycle. So we're going to um, test it out. And there she goes. Say the job is fixed. TR Rehab.